Welcome back to Stencil Works. Today, we will be learning to switch from one scene to another in a game. So the first step to doing this is starting with Stencil's pre-made jump and run kit. <laughs> to name this, I mean, what we are going to name this is scene switching because that's the subject of this video. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is replace the tile set with one of Blob's amazing tile sets on Stencil Forge. Once the tile set is downloaded, we're going to want to make two separate scenes. There's already a scene inside of the Jump and Run kit, but we're going to get rid of it because Greg does not know how to design levels. <laughs> So, I rock here is going to uh, is going to design some two levels, which later will have a door that transitions from one level to another. Set some gravity, like seventy five, and, and we'll just, we'll, we're, we're just going to create this scene two here after creating scene one. The the key here is creating scenes. When creating scenes, you want to do that. Okay, back to you, Bob. Alright, now that the two scenes have been created, we're going to make a door actor so that the player can transition from scene one to scene two. So to do this, we go over to the actor section, create a new actor, title it Door, and give it a door I'm animation. I'm giving the, the... currently in the process of giving the door... A door animation. The, the I can confirm that the actor has a door animation. Okay, now what we want to do is go into collisions and set the collision box of the door to a sensor, which we can check in the bottom right corner. Once that is done, we are going to go over to physics and ensure that the door is not moving anywhere, so it is stationary. Now, we're going to make a behavior for the door so that when the actor is inside the door, it transitions to the second scene. Do what? 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 Oh, Behav oh. Behavior. We're going to create a behavior. Yeah. What category? This is... This is... This is a, this is a GUI behavior. This is door transition. This is door transition. <laughs> okay. It's not funny, okay. Justin. Stop okay. laughing. Yeah, Justin, shut up. Okay. <laughs> so under the the collision box, the start I mean the collision box, we are going to make it so that if this sensor hits an actor, then fade out the scene and switch to another one. So we're going to go to scene, switching, and select one of the fade out and transition blocks so that when the actor is inside the door, the next scene loads. Um, talk about life. Life's good. Keep going. Life's when good. I was in fourth grade, I knew how to spell satellite, and all the other classmates were like, whoa! Holy shit, that's awesome. That is pretty impressive. What should the fade times be? The fade times should be 12 seconds. Okay. That is good production value. Let's see, 12. It, it'll make the scene switching feel very dramatic. Drama is a good aspect in games. It increases the immersion. Okay, I think our behavior's uh, well, well and ready for our action. All right, and we'll we'll just add that behavior to the door. Now we're going to go to scene one, and add the door, be the door actor to the scene. Wait, was that door transition behavior supposed to be a scene behavior? 
No, 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 that's okay. Okay, I want... Uh, Rock, I want you to test that scene. We're gonna have to put an actor in scene two and one. Oh, we're gonna have to do that. We're gonna have to put a player in there so the the player exists in okay, the second Okay, we're gonna scene. go ahead and test this. Whoops, I moved, I moved the window. Okay, let's... let's we're testing it. Okay, we're testing it. Okay. Tell me how that goes. Uh, guide the guide the player through the steps to activating the door. Uh, you're gonna want to move the player right, so until he hits the door. Okay, so as you see, we just crafted a scene transitioning behavior very easily, very smoothly, thanks to the incredible power of Stencil Works. And uh, this has been this has been epic Stencil Tutorials. Thank you for participating. In so this. epic. Rem remember to okay. subscribe to our videos. Sub subscribe. Yeah, uh, subscribe. Uh, hit the, uh, just hit the like button and be sure to favorite. It really helps me out. And if you could do that, it really helps me out.